Hi everyone, welcome to my second video on the MATLAB and today I'm going to be explaining about how to make uh, subplots on MATLAB Alright, let me clear all and the CLC Alright <clears throat> If you have no idea about what is subplot, let me explain about subplot. And subplot is mainly well, for us to plot a few graphs in a single window. Alright, and we have a special coding over here. 2 to 1, 2 to 2, 2 to 3, and uh, 2 to 4. Uh, this first digit, um, it shows that uh, that's the row. And second will be the column. And the third digit is the position of the subplots. As we know, uh, here we have two rows and two columns. And we have more and we have to change the digit according to how many columns and how many rows that we want. Alright, let's go to the MATLAB and uh, I will be typing out the codes. Subplot. Let's introduce 2, comma 2, 1. Close bracket. Semicolon. Plot. 1 is to 10, that is the uh, linear graph, subplot, now the second graph at the second position which is going to be on the top right, x is equals to, sorry, 0 is to 0 0.1 um, to the value of 2 pi, so 2 times pi, semicolon, and plot x sine x all right and let's move forward to this third graph which is going to be on the bottom uh, left bottom two two three and uh, the plot is going to be x exponent negative x semicolon. Oh, I forgot to put another bracket over here. Alright. Now let's go to the third plot. 2, 2, 4. Semicolon and this is going to take all the peak values of the three graphs and I'm going to plot it in a single graph. Right, let me check before I run the code. And any problems over here? No, so far. Let's run it. Oh, it states a prop. Okay, what is that? Over here. Okay, I forgot to put another bracket. Alright, seems to be no problem. The graph is over here. Like what I showed earlier, the position of the graph, and this is the actual graph that had been plotted by the MATLAB. And this is like what I said, uh, the linear graph. And this uh, makes it easier for us to compare with each other. And this is for the 2D. And how about for the 3D? A little bit different. Uh, if you guys watched my previous video on uh, 3D plotting, single 3D plotting, and uh, we will be using the codes from there, but since this is for subplot, we're just going to add up a few uh, extra subplot codes. Let's introduce the value of t, uh, which is the initial point, which is 0, to the increment of pi divided by uh, 10, and to the final value of uh, 2 pi. Alright, like, like in my previous video, x, we have to uh, introduce the value of x, y, and z for 3D graphs. Cylinder. 4 times cos t and semicolon. Now here comes the subplot 2 to 1 which is going to be top left and 3D graphs uses mesh, uh, mesh serve and so on. They don't use plot and let's introduce the title so that we can uh, categorize them or we can see them what graph are they and uh, subplot 2 2 2 
and this is going to be mesh. Y. The title is going to be Y. And subplot 223. Mesh. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Title is going to be Y. And, oh, sorry. It's going to be Z. And the last one, 224, and I'm going to introduce all the axes in a single graph. So, we ha I have to introduce all of them. Which means they take all the values and put it in a single graph and plot the graph for me. And as usual, the uh, title is going to be X, Y, and Z. X, Y, and Z. All right. All right. The coding is done. Let me check for any mistakes. All right. Let's run it. And here we go. We have the uh, graphs over here in a single window. We have four graphs. And like what I've uh, introduced the title over here. And we do have all the titles here. And this is the graph for X value. This is graph for Y value. Meanwhile, this is for the this is the graph for Z value. And this is it add up all three values and and plot the single graph x y z and it looks in this way and like what I stated in the previous I mean uh, earlier this helps us to compare all the graphs in a single window which is way easier uh, you know if you want to do it in a separate manner it's going to be different for you all right this is simply easy for us to compare in a single window all right so this is the coding all right thank you for watching this video on subplots uh, matlab and there'll be more videos coming on stay tuned and do subscribe and do like it and share it as well thank you see you guys again